hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we're gonna cover all of this racing track with our waypoints okay so as you know that we have created few waypoints right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, add our waypoint origin right there and then start creating more okay like this so first of all what i'm gonna do is so as you can see this will be our first one then let's move the second one right here okay because we don't want to create more than one or two on a straight path okay so now we're gonna deselect the waypoint one by holding down the control button and clicking it okay you can select and deselect now let's move these one right here okay to this point okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now deselect that move this one right here and then this is this third one so I'm gonna rotate it like this a little bit okay and then move it right here then select the fourth one move it right here and make sure to rotate it like this okay so that there is uh, and this uh, space between the uh, green and red line okay make sure it is not like this it, is, it should be like this okay so that the cars can move between this whole road now let's select the fifth one move the fifth one right here and make sure its forward vector is in the forward direction like that as you can see okay so we are going good and now we can create more let me actually move this one a little bit closer there and now let's create another one as you can see it is automatically selected move it right here okay then create another one and move that one right here but make sure to rotate it a little bit like that okay and in this way you can cover this whole track okay i'm gonna do waypoints till this point and after that i'm gonna pause the video so that i can do it quickly and you guys also okay because now you know how you can create and uh, manage the waypoints right so six seven let's create another one move it right here and let's rotate it a little bit like this okay then create another one move it right here make sure to rotate it like this okay now let's create another one move it right here and then rotate it like this okay as you can see create another one and they should be a little bit shorter and then simply rotate it like this okay make sure the forward vector is in the forward direction then create another one move it right here and you can rotate it a little bit on the right side okay create another one oops okay select it and then just rotate it a little bit okay then let's create another one and we're gonna rotate this one as well like this okay so it is going good now let's create another one move it right here and make sure to rotate it create another one and rotate it like that okay now create another one move it right here and now let's straight this up like this and then move it a little bit here 
okay so now as you can see we cover this area now what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video and uh, fill this whole area with the waypoints okay and you guys go ahead and do the same okay so i have completed this much so far okay but i want to tell you one thing that when there is uh, some sharp turns like this then make sure that you create as many waypoints right here okay as you can see i've created one two three four five and then six and seven and eight i'm going to create a total number of eight right here okay so just make sure that you cover the whole turn like this okay okay so i have covered the whole track with the waypoints but now at the end right here as you can see this is our first one and this is our last one okay if we select the last one as you can see its next waypoint will now be our first waypoint which is waypoint zero so i'm just gonna drag and drop this inside the next waypoint as you can see there is the next waypoint now as you can see the waypoint zero previous waypoint is missing so its previous should be our last one which is 72 so just simply drag and drop that and now as you can see the previous waypoint is added as well and with this as you can see our whole track is covered with waypoints okay let me zoom in and show you guys this whole thing as you can see there are waypoints everywhere okay you can notice right here you can count these waypoints and then according to this you can add your own waypoints okay as you can see now the whole track is ready now in the next video what we're gonna do is we will add the opponent car and make the opponent car race between these waypoints so see you guys in the next one